is known in this county for her unusual air. Aristocratic, bipolar, erratic, she'll laugh at one moment and pull out her hair. Oh, how the young southern gentleman would love to know it makes deal for a tick. She's dandified southern dry reeks, formaldehyde, rarefied, tongue-tied, and sick. In spite of such eccentric manners and graces, please let it not be mistaken that with the young girl every dandy and churl has been unequivocally taken. And for the young fellows who cannot for odds, though chances are one in one million, for evade expectations with their invitations to poor Lavinia's cotillion. Cotillions are frequently garish affairs and quite unbecoming of fine southern pair. Ruth will be excess of sweet as Kalea was well, certainly not the case here. I pour a Lavinia the crowd turns to stare, taking the breath of those caught on a web, standing alone at the top of the stair, descending each step with the utmost of care. Bell of the ball with such ball of all, a bright parasol and the well of all. Plenty of ascensions and orchestra falls of young up and comers and plantation balls or dance card is full. Who would be forgiven for not thinking this thing amiss? Were it not for the tangle of hearts and the tangle of weight of them straining her wrist? are served and couples retire to rockers. The waltzing has ceased and the crowd is quite pleased to change from dancers to talkers. Slowly the sun rises now overtaking the chirping and croaking of crickets and frogs. The distant clock tower is clanging five bells, but what has become of the bell of the ball? Poor the 